Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my tutorial, my 5M tutorial for NVE and Quant V. Alright. So first of all, we're gonna go over installation right now. So first of all, what you want to do is you can only get these off of Patreon. They are both paid. Uh, I only I I, I I may have only paid for one of them. Um they are both paid mods. First one you gotta go to this raised, raised, I can't scroll down because, you know, private download links. So, I don't want to show those. You're gonna want to go to raised, raised Patreon, get the gold, which is like 10 bucks a month. And then you can download, um, the, you can download NVE from here, alright? With Quant. Quant? Um, basically, it's th actually the exact same thing. Um, you're going to want to f find your 5M application data. Now, you should know where this file is. I have it pinned to my quick access, right? So, citizen, a lot of people tell you that you need to alter the citizen file. This is where most graphics mods come into play. Um, but this is just a default citizen file, no altered stuff here. Everything here is default, right? So everything in my 5M application data folder, this is what it's supposed to look like default. Nothing's in my mods, nothing's in my plugins. So we're gonna go over installing NVE first. So once you open up the 5M package, you have three files here. You have main package, optional add-ons, and then reshade shaders. Let's go to the main package, go to mods. You have a mods and plugins folder, just like the ones over here, right? What you're gonna do, open up the mods folder, you have all these .rpf files. This goes for both mods. RPF files go in your mods folder. So open your mods folder in your application data. Get all of these. I prefer all of these if you want it to look the best. But the main one is right here, nve.rpf. Models and textures. You have models and textures. One, two, and three. Window range drops, blah, blah, blah. All this extra stuff. You can just choose what you want to uh, put in there, but they all are like they all work with uh, based off of this main file. So if you want any of those, you have to obviously have the main file in there because that's like the the whole operation. So NVE is a big file, so it's gonna take a little bit like this, as you can see. Plugins folder. Open your plugins folder. Get these NVE shaders, NVE.ASI. Highlight them. Just drop them over here. So now your main NVE is installed, right? You're good to go. You can just stop here if you want, but um, just because we're gonna go over the optional add-ons. Here you have files labeled from one to 24. These, like resource, blah, 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 all this stuff, don't use. Cause this is for GTA, these are GTA mods, right? Do not use those, like vanilla unicorn interior overhaul, Chanel police department, blah, 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 blah. Realistic license plates you can use, but all like the, you know, Toyota, Supra, blah, 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 blah. No, do not use these. These are mods, as you can see. Like, there's nowhere to put these. These are mods for GTA, right? So if you want enhanced motion blur for third person, you get the .rpf file, put it in your mods folder, and there you go. It's that easy. If you want brighter emergency lights, high intensity, if you're going to be doing police role play, you get the RPF file, put it in mods. It's that easy for all of these. Animated gas stations, you know the drill. RPF, RPF, put it in here. <clears throat> now, that's pretty much it. Oh, by the way, one more thing. I would highly recommend the NVE Rhodes Overhaul Pack for NVE. Uh, I love, I love the way it looks. I love it. It's a great custom road, road overhaul because the default GTA roads look absolutely shit. They look terrible, right? So I would highly recommend putting these in here because they, they, they just look so good. They're great roads. Great roads. Custom road pack for NVE. It's awesome. Okay, so now that that's installed, that's, a, that's pretty much about it for the optionals. Now, reshade shaders. This is very strange. So... There is a, a video game graphics add-on called Reshade that you can install for any, for any video game that supports it. I have it installed for Ready or Not right here. Um, I 
highly recommend against installing this because it's an entire process. It's like installing another application onto your 5M and onto your GTA. And what I'm trying to do here is make it so that you alter only your 5M and not your GTA because then it turns into a whole thing. You know, I had this thing where I was messing with my GTA to make 5M look good. And then, you know, it, it turned into a whole mess. I had to reboot GTA hundreds of gigabytes down the drain. It's terrible. I highly recommend against this. Uh, reshade, all it does for me personally is just saps your performance. I know a lot of uh, tutorials out there, they would say highly, they would definitely recommend installing Reshade, doing all this. If you would like to install Reshade, um, please go find another tutorial on NVE. Because I just, no, I, I highly advise against this. This is just me. So we're going to close that. That's NVE. Completely done, right? Now that we've completely finished the installation for NVE, you if, you, if you clicked on this tutorial just for NVE, then you can click off now. Everything is perfectly fine. Now we're going to go for Quant V. Installation for Quant V. We have the Quant V 5M folder. We have three files just like NVE. Install, uninstall, and optionals. Open your application data. Open your install. So as you can see, this file, this is a little confusing because you have these .oiv files. So let me explain. OIV, open, it's called OpenIV. It's a GTA mod manager. And like I said earlier, we're trying to, we're trying to alter 5M and not GTA. So you may not have this, but I do. You do not use the OIV file. Do not double click it. You know, it, it may actually for you, as you can see, this is my GTA folder for OpenIV. As you can see, it may not look like that. You may not have the logo on there. It might just be a normal file. Either way, you do not want to double click this, do anything with this. What you want to do is if you see any of these, you want to right click and select view file. So then you're going to have, so the, so the OpenIV files, they're all, they're package files. They're packages of other files, as you can see. So we just unpacked the package. So now we have GTA folder and quant v. So we're going to we're going to deal with those later. We're going to put those to the side. Install file and application data mods quant v.rpf. It's just like nve. Just drag that over to your mods folder. As you can see it's in there. Uninstall. This is just, you know, don't don't mess with this again if you want to uninstall it just you know, delete this. Optional stuff. So this, so of course, just like NVE, it has some optionals. Quant V is highly customizable, more so than NVE. Both are very customizable graphics mods. I think Quant V is much more than NVE, and I'm going to get into that soon. So we have optionals just like here. You know, bright emergency lights, five mile application, very bright lights. RPF goes in here. Blah blah blah. blah. RPF goes in here. There are some. Uh, optionals here that cannot be used with 5M, such as chromatic aberration removed. Have this OIV file, press view file, content, and there is no .rpf file in here, so you can't use that for 5M. One thing that I really like is motion blur. The Quant V motion blur is absolutely beautiful. I love it so much. We're going to have the 5M application data, mods, motion blur enabled. It's very good. It makes your game look super nice. So once you have everything that you want in your mods folder, we're going to close that and then go back to this. So this says GTA folder. Like I said before, no, you do not want to do anything with your GTA folder with your GTA main directory. You do not put these in your GTA folder. Okay, this is the good stuff right here. This is what makes Quant V look so good. All right, you're going to want to put all of these in your plugins folder. As you can see, this is what makes Quant V look so good. I'm not even kidding. This is what makes Quant V look so good. So ENB, so I'm gonna get, get into this right now. ENB series, this is a um, this is another uh, video game graphics add-on like Reshade. Uh, just like Reshade, it is like another application, but the creator of Quant V has tailored and curated the application ENB so that you don't have to go through a bunch of installation stuff and he's curated it just for Quant V. 
So it's super easy, super, super easy to install, super accessible, you know? So right now I'm actually gonna get into the game and show you guys a side-by-side -side comparison of the two mods.